guys, I cannot believe it's been 13 months since I locked my hair. Where does the time go? Seriously. <laughs> Love language, bilingual, pick a side, Gemini, umbrella, paraguas, I'm missing so to life. In the heat of rain, my heart's versatile. Preparation, when I'm on a blaze, I'm your summer rain. I'm your UV shades, convertible, feel the breeze, preparation, nothing else to need, uh, forget your height and weight, I wanna know your lumens, uh, what's your frequency, I wanna tune to it, 528 hertz all day we groove to it, uh, do you understand why I'm superhuman, uh, my spirit shifting out the spectrum lately uh, I made my soul your home, you renovated You're the reason I break all of my showcases That's why I put your signature on all my paintings Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley, aka Pretty Hippie, and I'm back with another video, my 13 month lock update video to be exact. Guys, I have been locked for 13 months now, okay? One month over a year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And OMG, am I loving my locks or what? Okay. So I can't really remember what was in my 12 month log update. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pretty much tell you guys what's happening in month 13. So what I am noticing is my hair is getting a lot longer. We are reaching back length, honey. Okay. And I am so excited about it because I was really tired of being up here with the neck crew. You know what I'm saying? Like little turtle, no, little turtlenecks. I was ready to move on. And I have. So that's the first change. The second change is like the frizziness is really starting to go away. And honestly, I really like my frizzies. So I hope they don't go away like totally. I hope. They stay a little puffy, little frizzy, little cheese puffy because I like that look. I like the thick, puffy, frizzy look. So they are still frizzy, but not as frizzy as they used to be. And I washed my hair last night. And when I got out of the shower, uh, my hair was just like so, oh my God, it looks so long. And normally when I get out of the shower, it's like a little puff ball. But it was kind of like just going straight down. And I guess that's because my locks are definitely maturing. And my little ends, as you can see, I still have loose ends. I don't really know if that's ever going to change. Because, uh, yeah, my hair texture is like a curlier texture. And maybe it's just taking my hair longer to lock up because it's a looser curl. And let's see, the next change that I'm noticing is my hair is a lot drier. Like, it's really dry. Um, so I did a hot oil treatment on my hair in my last video. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. And it definitely did help hydrate my hair and lock in some moisture. So I will definitely be doing hot oil treatments a lot more now that my hair is getting drier. And I think towards the winter months it's a lot worse so i'm just like oh god like i have to stay with the moisturizer stay with the oil stay with the grease you know what i'm saying okay not the grease but y'all know what i'm talking about so my routine hasn't changed at all i still do the same routine my moisturizing routine also if you guys have not seen that video make sure you check it out because i get a lot of people a lot of people especially on instagram if you are not following me on instagram make sure you do so i will post it on the screen somewhere so you guys can see it but you guys ask me what do you do to your hair how do you make your hair grow how do you keep your locks healthy and hydrated i have videos on all that good stuff okay i have videos on Every, everything you guys pretty much as I have videos on. So when somebody asks me that, I normally just tell them like, hey, go check out the video. 
But make sure you watch all the videos and yeah, you'll be kind of up to speed on what I do to my hair. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the moisturizing, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my routine, my routine. Okay, so my routine has not changed. I still do the same moisturizing routine and I post it in the cards. I still moisturize my hair with natural oils. Now, like I stated before, I will try different products from different companies because a lot of companies have been reaching out to me asking me to do reviews on their products. So I do um, typically do those reviews, you know, just to kind of see what products are out there, what works for my hair and what doesn't. So, but as far as like the straight and narrow routine, get up in the morning and do this, this and this, I just simply get up, spray my hair with water, Put whatever oil I have on hand at the house, honey. I don't really, you know, if I have olive oil, put olive oil in my hair. If I have avocado oil, that's the oil I'm using. If I have almond oil, you know, I, you know, and I mix them up sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Y'all know how I go. Y'all know how it be, okay? So basically, whatever natural oils I have at the house, that's the oil I use to oil my hair. And we always have coconut oil. So I always use coconut oil. And yeah, that's pretty much my routine. I'm still using rose water. Now, I will say about the rose water, I'm not using it as much. Because I think I'm out. Am I out? I haven't seen it lately. I think, I don't think I have any more. That's the reason why I haven't used it in a while. But I am going to restock soon, especially, you know, with the winter months coming up. I will be restocking my rose water and using it. So yeah. That's pretty much the changes that I've been seeing with my hair. It's just the length and my hair is just super dry. Like it may not look dry, but it is. Because <laughs> people always say, yeah, it doesn't look dry. It looks really healthy. It looks really moisturized. And that's because I keep it soaked with oils. But after the oils fade, by the end of the day, it's like very dry. So with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tell me where you guys are with your lock journey down in the comments below. Let's chit chat. Any videos you want to see from me also leave those comments down in the comments below. Okay. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, world peace.